but their first game uh, that came out on MetaQuest and PlayStation VR. Um, so they partnered with the NFL and the NFL PA to really create a, a virtual reality and really a simulated kind of game-like experience. We've highlighted Status Pro a couple times on the podcast around some of their funding rounds. So now really cool to see them uh, get everything up and running here. They have a partnership with uh, Lamar Jackson, uh, the quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens. It's co-founded uh, by former NFL player as well, and Andrew Hawkins. Uh, Hawk on Twitter, uh, awesome follow if you're not following him. Uh, but really cool to see this. I, I always have compared this in the past, and I don't want to take anything away from Lamar Jackson's shine but to the Michael Vick experience that we obviously had growing up in Atlanta, uh, mm -hmm. the commercials and obviously kind of what they built out there uh, when you would, before you would go into the Georgia Dome when you were in the fan experience. So very similar kind of kind of feel and like simulating essentially being a quarterback in the NFL. Taylor, what'd you think about this? Yeah. You know, similar to uh, the brothers podcast that we got right now with STA, Artrell Hawkins as well, uh, who also played in the NFL with Andrew Hawkins. Uh, joint on this venture here to make this simulator. And the one thing that I, that, that stands out to me, so a little bit about on the background of how this, um, you know, came into light. And, you know, Artrell said he was a an NFL veteran and tried to go into coaching. And they said he didn't have enough experience to get into coaching. I heard that a couple of times. You know, as a as a African American individual, as a person of color, trying to make the trying to break the barriers of getting into the coaching world, doesn't seem like a lot of stuff is really slated to get you in there. Because if, let's 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 break it down. Hard knocks just happened in Detroit. I thought it was actually really good. Hard knocks, and you know, it's a little bit shorter. Obviously, mm -hmm. the season's cut down a little bit for preseason. But let's let's look at the resume for Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell didn't have to struggle like a lot of folks had to do. Let's if we're gonna you know Eric the enemy that's in Kansas City. That's a whole different discussion that we can go down. But it's about what he he illuminated and highlighted, saying that he was told he didn't have enough experience, even though he played nine years in the NFL. Normally, that allows you to get your foot strongly into the door, to get a lower position, to work your way up to be a head coach. But because he didn't, he was inspired to be able to go this route to develop something that can give you the experience of playing, training you at the same time, as well as, you know, having a little fun at the same time. So with this uh, VR headset, you know, set into the meta verse, so to speak, um, it looks like, you know, what the first thing I thought of was NFL 2K, like five, where you could do the first person view from mm -hmm. the field. And by the way, if, if, um, Madden didn't squeeze them out, NFL 2K probably would have take over, took over the market. They just had the better gameplay and fun experience. So now you can kind of get that with this. So I, I think it's, I'm actually kind of excited about it because what's been lacking, especially in the gaming industry, when it comes to football, um, with two O's. And those games is just something that's more immersive um, and not lazily put together with Madden, who has a monopoly and a stronghold in the game. Yeah, I, I don't play. We were talking about it before we jumped on. I don't play a ton of video games anymore, but I did play Madden right as the pandemic kind of hit. You know, I, we all needed something to do, right? Um, and yeah, I found the gameplay to be like clunky and not fun and all those type of things. And so now I've seen a couple people, this is on my list to, to grab. We'll put some uh, Instagram videos up when I do and when, when I kind of play it and, and, and record it. But from what I've seen out there, it, it looks really cool, right? It looks cool because to your point, it's that simulation, right? It's being immersed kind of into that position that we've always kind of thought about, right? If you, even if you didn't, if you didn't play football or if you did, like what would it be like to see the rush and to kind of like be Lamar Jackson, right? What would that feel like? What would it feel like if I'm right. Peyton Manning and I'm calling everything out and like doing it in my living room? And so this is that first kind of iteration into that, which I think is incredibly cool here. I love what they've done. Um, essentially kind of licensing and getting all the partnerships through the NFL PA and through the NFL as well. So it's, it's a true kind of like NFL sanctioned game here. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see again, how many people, the, the tough thing, right. Is especially with VR right now, you kind of talked about that, like how many people are out there truly kind of buying headsets and things like that. Right. So, so we may not see this truly kind of ramp up for a little bit, but at least it's a different option now that you've got instead of just like, ah, I'm just going to play Madden today, right? Especially if you have a VR, uh, either Meta or, or PlayStation VR. So so you now you've got another option to have a mm -hmm. football game. Yeah, and I think they're, they're doing a good job with, one, you know, the partnership that, 
you know, they got with the NFL. And I think we got a lot of little, we should talk about the NFL as well for how they've been licensing out everything and the money that is coming in the additional billions. And this is millions from this front, but you know, the, the, the money that is just flowing into the NFL right now, but they're doing it right. Like you can do it on PlayStation VR. The minute the Xbox, you know, somehow integrates, it's already on it's Microsoft platform, but integrates as VR um, capabilities with its uh, console, you know, this will be, you know, that inevitable next step of, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, partnering and, and continuing to, you know, run through the Xbox gaming marketplace as well. So, 